Okay, perfect. So he's not sure about this. He's never been a Terry. And this is going to be my first play session with the Malinois Aries. He's a seven month old Malinois. Um, and what you're going to notice here is I have a variety of toys. I don't know what he likes, so we're going to start to find out. So we have a tug, a barrel tug, different types of balls. Something else that I like to do that you guys can also do with just an old leash is a little handle, put it through, slip this on, and now you have some length and you can whip this around and you can reward your dog with space, but they're not going to take off of the toy because you're still controlling it. So I'm going to start to show those things to you. I'm going to go grab Aries word and get into playing. I have his tugs now. I'm positive he's never played tug with a proper tug before. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to like it more or not, but I think this is going to be cleaner for him. So we're going to try this. We have two of the same, so this should be easy for him to start to switch. Yes. Okay, perfect. So he's not sure about this. He's never bit a tug before. Hey. So what you guys can see him hesitating. We're gonna go to our leash here. We're gonna go to our leash. We're gonna add some movement to this. Aries, Aries. 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 Okay, good. So don't give up there. He wanted to find the ball still, but we're gonna get him into this toy. Good boy. Good. Good. There we go. You see how that how that little bit of leash, a little bit of flirt movement to it? Good. Ooh, he's still pulling on the string just like on the ball. Okay, so he definitely needs some targeting work. Aries. Aries. Good. Good. All right, so we're going to really make this fun for him now that he has a good grip on the toy. I'm going to always keep a little bit of tension on there so his grip can't travel up to the handles. And now I'm trying to get him to counter in for a fuller grip. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm adding a little, good. Even when I let him take this, I'm still keeping tension on it. I'm still keeping life in the toy. Good boy. Grip's becoming a little bit fuller. Good. Let him have it. What I'm looking for when I let him have it and why this leash is so nice is because I don't want him to take it to the ground, start chewing the handles. I don't want him to drop it and I don't want him to start sliding up to the handle. Good. Good. He countered in, I let him have it. Good boy. Good boy. If I can steal it from him here and there, I will do that too, and I'll bring a lot of chase to the game. But he's got a firm grip on this. Even though it's a bad grip, it's still firm. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Here's another problem I see with people when they're playing with their dogs. They're doing more work than their dog. I don't need to be taking him for a ride like this. I need him to satisfy on the bite, find what he likes, and that's what I go to. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see if we can get a counter in. Good. 
There we go. It's still not full, but it's better than it was. Good. Good boy. I might not even ask for an out or ask for him to switch toys in this first session. I might try it because we're recording this. But normally I would just stay here and play with him just like this. Get him really loving the toy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Look, at, he's starting to bring it to me now. That's even better. Oof. If he puts this in the back of his mouth, I'm going to let him have it. Good boy. Good. And now I'm just experimenting with to see what he likes, what he doesn't like. I'm trying to use anticipation of me coming close to the toy. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, just to experiment, let's see what happens when I bring out the other tug. Aries, Aries. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for right there. Now we might do this game again. Aries. Yeah. Hey. Perfect. Good boy. So what's this showing me already is he likes this game with me. And that's what you want. Ideally, he would hold that toy until I bring out the new one. But this means his outs probably aren't going to be a huge deal. Good boy. Aries. Yes. Perfect, guys. Look at that. Conflict-free out. We're going to have this in no time. Aries. Yes. Boom. Good. And this is why two of the same toys is powerful. If one had a little bit more value than the other, you might get tripped up with, with the higher value toy. But this way, it's the same every time. Aries. Good boy. Okay. Now that it's predictable that he's going to out, I might try to throw a miss in when he goes to bite the toy, just to see if I can build up a little bit of drive and energy. Aries. Good. He came in harder that second time. That's the only time I'm, I'm bringing misses in, is to build up in energy and drive. Aries. Good. Good boy. Aries. Yep, he's got it now. Good boy. Aries. Ooh. Good. Good boy. Good. That's what we want. We want that little clack clack. Aries. Ooh, good boy. Now he's comfortable. He's shoving that thing in the back of his mouth. And again, I want the most fun part for the dog playing with his toys, the satisfying on the bite. Aries. Aries. That was bad. Aries. Here's another thing that I just thought of while we're playing. Presentation off to the side, off to the side, not in the front. He's going to get your vest, he's going to get you. Off to the side, off to the side. Nice and clean. All right, we're going to try something. I'm going to throw this one. Aries. Ready? Aries. Well, you knucklehead. 
Let's try that again. Hey. We throw one. Aries. He's not the smartest. Dude. Are you kidding me? Hey. All right, let's see if he can do it this time. Aries. Good boy. Good. Okay. Now we're done with the game. Here's how I finish this. His leash in this hand, the toy in this hand. He drops it. Frustrate, frustrate, frustrate. He doesn't get it. You take him away from the toys. And you put him up. 